in a grayscale dimension named Monochrome, through the lush and abundant fields of Grey Shade Valley, past the many modern, winding streets of the quaint, charming, friendly, and all-around pleasant tune-filled village known as Talent Town, down the raging torrents of Monochrome's main mode of transportation and trade, the fickle vintage river sits the city of entertainment, Vaudeville, where performance is a necessary life skill known by all. Tunes make or break careers in various entertainment districts. Skilled troops might make it to a grand theater, but most will take whatever stage they can, even by force. Factions work behind the scenes to tilt audiences in their favorite performer's favor using illegal giggle gas and jitter juice. Even without these supplements, these illicit venues are hotspots for gathering and watching performances. As such, Vaudeville has made a name for itself as an amazing destination full of comedy and tragedy alike. Automist Blotz, an otherwise average tomb citizen, suffers from a crippling case of stage fright, making them the target of constant bullying. So they left. Otto joined on with Captain Smokestack's crew, and in exchange, Captain Smokestack ferried them away from their problems in the big city to a much smaller and easier to manage talent town. Otto found what shelter they could in a manor at the edge of Grey Shade Valley, with rude furniture and a roommate who never stopped partying. They made the situation work for them, until many years later. A change in leadership leaves Vaudeville in major upheaval. Mayor Lestache says, Out with the old, in with the new! Meanwhile, rumors of being watched blink across Grey Shade Valley. Possessions spring up in vaudeville, turning supernatural acts into scape ghosts. To top it all off, slime and sludge pollute the vintage river, halting all transportation. But first, will Otto be able to make it to work on time?
Uh oh. Uh oh.
Hello.
Hello.
Ciao.